Hello, I'm Necro, and today I'll be taking you through the Seeds and Adventurer's Tome items of the Flowering Orchard. Timestamps will be in the description, so without further ado, let's begin. We're going to be starting out at the Circus Encampment Triport. From the Triport, we're going to begin our journey by heading east. At the Clown Infested Ruins, we're going to make our way to the north side of it first, where here, underneath this dead tree, you'll find your first Makoko Seed. Then head to the south side, where here on the map, by this burnt down house, you'll find a second. Now run to the other side of this house and hang a left. Jump over this bridge and climb up these vines and at the top we're going to find ourselves the ruined village vista. Now we'll teleport to Dayer Village. Leave the triport to the southeast and make your way to the back of this loop where underneath this awning we're going to find another seed. Go back on the road and head a little further and at the tip of this bulge on the map you'll find yourself near this banner and if you check here by this tree you'll find another seed. Now we'll get back on the road and keep moving along. Once you're in this next section of the map, find your way to about the middle. You'll see a tree right here and a seed sitting right beside of it. Now we can teleport or walk to the CNN Triport. From the Triport, take the northern road towards the left section of the map, and on your way, underneath of this tree right here, you'll see that there's a floating Makoko seed. Keep following the road, taking a right at the crossroads, and at about right here on the map, if you see through the fog, we can find ourselves another seed in the grass. Now we'll make our way to the other side of the orchard, and at about right here on the left side of the map, you'll see that there's this open door. It's actually a false wall. If you walk in and bust these barrels, underneath of them you'll find another seed. Now we'll head back to the CNN one more time. We'll follow the road to the final section of the map. First we'll head to the center, and right around here we should be able to find the creepy orchard weevil monster mark. So once you find him, go ahead and slap him down. And right beside of where he spawns you can see there is a seed right by this tree. If you didn't find him in the last location, you can also find him on the left side of the orchard here. This next part will require pretty tight timing, so I'll zoom in very close to the map so you can see exactly where I'm standing. You'll find this investigate symbol, so if you examine it, it'll start pear trees in him, one of three. You'll have a 40 second timer, so rush to this next spot, right here, where beside this tube and tree, you'll find number two of three, and here, where beside of this tree, you're going to find three of three. And to round out this zone, we're going to cross this bridge towards Sunbright Hill and go till we get to about right here on the map. You'll see these three people, and just below them, in this bush, is our final seed. And just like that, we're done with the flowering orchard. If this video helped you out at all, please consider leaving a like, it would mean a whole lot to me. Subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of this series, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to change or do better. We're going to be heading to the Black Rose Chapel next, so until then, that's all for me. See ya!